Welcome back to today's feature film. I feel like I'm trying to do something different every time and it's not working. Well, anyway, welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist, and today we are reviewing this fine set of gem-like gouache paints. Did you like this slow ease in? Thought you did. They came in a massive package like this, um, so we're just going to open them up because I don't need this box, but let's unveil unveil mm -hmm. that's good oh my god yeah okay there we go eh. and it's encased in that lovely plastic we all love again so let me just attempt with my nails oh it worked okay get this off asmr segment okay so first of all we have this case and it's smaller than I thought again doing this thing where I don't know the size of a palette that I've ordered but it, it's kind of a little bit feels a little bit cheaper than the the HIMI ones but that's not what's important what's important is what's on the inside guys so let's take a look at this beautiful overlay i like that that's cool it tells me all the colors as well very nice i better not mix them up uh let's see it has a little indent here so you can take these out oh my god they're the shape they're the shape i love this shape <laughs> i know it's so lame because you won't actually see the shape when they're inside but how cute that is i don't know why i like this kind of like when <laughs> They do interesting like jelly shapes with paint jelly cup design love it uh yeah so it's looking cute it's looking very vividy vividy is that can't speak today they're looking very vivid um which is strange but maybe a nice selection of colors they've also got this lovely plastic topping which i absolutely love taking off so i'm kind of looking at these now like why am i done this um it comes with this wow it was advertised that it comes with this palette and this is just a bit of sheet plastic that is completely rubbish oh no i'm worried about the state of these paints now if they think that this is a palette look at it it's just like we're gonna use it because i'm lazy and i can't be bothered to wash up a new one but geez Let's see these brushes. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not seeing the potential here. This one's slightly bent as well. So, but we are gonna try them out just because I wanna look at this as like a kit, like a whole experience you can have. Experience, <laughs> this experience. But yeah, I'm gonna test them all out, everything in the case. Um, because, you know, you, you might buy it from palette. You might be like, oh, this one, comes with a palette and some tape brushes and this one doesn't so let's see if it's actually worth your time probably not spoiler alert probably not right let's get painting i forgot that i have to unplastic these and i'm just having a hard time about it and i would appreciate your support through this process thank you Ugh. oh my god please please gems please gemmies be good to me okay, here we go okay not too bad not too bad absolutely hate hate because i don't know what to do with the plastic lids and everyone always says oh swatch them but i i'm not a fan of swatching so they're going in the bin i'm sorry okay i'm sorry <laughs> Oh, beautiful jemmy shape, please be good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and paint something that has some like really interesting light in it because I feel like that's something I want to get better at is playing with light in the subject. And yeah, so I've been looking on Pinterest as usual because I feel like it's a good, really good reference tool. Um, and I just really want to paint this guy in a cafe because i think it's a really nice photo and i know like i'm kind of taking some credit for someone's um photography here but basically what i want is to just practice uh using light and this is the only way to do it for me right now is to just try and see if i can mimic this photography this photograph and 
there's so many good like painty stuff painty stuff you know what I mean there's so many good um artists there that you could just look at for reference like how they've done that brush stroke and how I, what do you like about a piece and like it kind of helps you um pull apart things that you find interesting about the subject so and then you can focus on maybe what you like about stuff but yeah I'm just trying to paint loosely as well because that's what I enjoy I like to paint loosely and I'm using these so if you don't know gouache is a, an opaque watercolor so you can use them sort of like a watercolor if you want to um, with just lots of water obviously water it down or can you, you can use it really opaquely to layer and layer and layer so I really like them sorry about the train again live by train like yada yada you probably heard this before if you know me do you need to like learn um, how to measure things out without just going for stuff but there we go probably gonna get this like proportions all wrong but I think I just want to practice lighting and painting a bit better um, would be good I think like I've done this probably should have sketched this out a little bit first but I've done it where I've like stretched it a bit too much I'm gonna look at the negative spaces yeah you know plasticky uh, palette not great but does the job I guess <laughs> I'm just roughing out the shapes for now so it's not like that bad right guys right also I want to test out these beautiful brushes <laughs> By the way, the brand for these are Tavo Lo Tavlo. Oh my god, my English. Tavo Loza. Tavo Loza. I don't know how you say that, but yeah. Seems like they hold a lot of water. Not too bad, I think. Like they hold a lot of um, color. If that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go in with like dark shades right away because I'm impatient. So far, they're not the best, but it's still okay. This scene is like of a man eating, oh not eating, drinking some coffee in a diner or something. And so we're on the outside looking in and it plays with light really nicely. It just has like a sense of early morning light. And I really want to learn how to paint light or depict certain lights a little bit better in my paintings and yeah that's just something that I want to do and I've look I've made this windowsill here right so this wall bit should be there but fine whatever that you know that happens I just generally want to like rough out where everything is so obviously it's not going to be looking great straight away <laughs> it's a work in progress but yes, yeah, I'm not sure about this uh, paintbrush, but it's it's not awful. It's not like flaking off. You know when you have like really cheap brushes that they just completely flake and completely don't hold water. But this one is not doing too badly, I would say. It's it's average. Oh, hey, hey, like me. Lol. Please don't leave. I feel like stuff has to be really, really, really crappy for me to give it a negative review. Yeah, the paints themselves are pretty nice like they're just standard jelly gouache by the way lots of people are confused okay so jelly gouache isn't a thing jelly gouache is like i call jelly gouache jelly gouache because of the jelly cup design they come in and it was just like a nice thing to call it like these are gem gouache like it's not a thing it's just gouache <laughs> Everyone's like, is that jelly gouache? I'm like, no, it's just gouache. It's no such thing as jelly gouache. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Let me go. It's, it's not looking ugh, terrible. I mean, the dim proportions are kind of there. Just need to work it a little bit more. His shirt is like completely pink, so this is gonna be fun to like paint in. And he's got like this huge pocket. Yeah, I'm just trying to block in like his features, I guess. This old man who's just sitting there. Dude definitely has a little bit of a hunchback. Who amongst us don't? Um, it's so wonky, but you know, like sometimes we just don't see that. <laughs> and now I feel like I've made it even wonkier, but like that way.
Ugh, this guy's grey hair. So I feel like I've done it really white. <laughs> Um, so I need to get it grey. There's obviously like really light highlights from when the, the light is shining on it, but just tone it down a little bit maybe. I really want to get this like silver chair looking silver. I guess it's just about layering colours on colours. As well, I've definitely made this shadow too dark, so I want to try and pick that colour back up again. Because it's supposed to be the same sort of level as that, and I just want to pick up the colour if I can. Not sure if that's looking more silver or not, <laughs> it's just looking splotchy. But I feel like the more time you spend uh, just trying to get the colours right, because with this silver reflection, it's reflecting all the colours it sees around it, right? So it is actually not just grey, you know what I mean? It's actually seeing this pink bounce off it, seeing the light from the window bounce off it, so you have to be like trying to think in that sort of sense. Okay, so it's looking a little bit wonky. Fine. I kind of like it, right? Um, so I just want to do details that show up through the painting now. I don't want to like spend so much time on this because it's just a study and it's meant to be quick and just like to help me gauge understanding of light but I do want to have it somewhat finished um this lighting here looks really weird everyone kind of sucks at something before they get good at something, right? Although this, I feel like this painting doesn't suck that much. It's just the lighting that I'm a bit like, huh, what happened to this lighting? It's a little bit odd, but yeah, let's see. I want to do the the lines of the tiles. Yeah. <laughs> wish me luck, you know what I mean? Like, wish me luck with this. Boom. Kind of okay. Now we're just do the lights down, which we obviously know I struggle with because look at this wonkiness. The one, like everyone, just ignore the wonkiness, okay? Just that's just how I am. Sometimes in life, people are wonky, and just yeah, okay. It's all a learning experience, you know. It's all a learning. Ah. <laughs> my brush nearly fell out of my hands, and that would have been disastrous. Okay, it's not looking terrible, but it's not looking magneth. Oh my god, why did I get so wobbly? Why are you wobbling? Why did I get so wobbly the last couple ones? Kind of like it, kind of like it, whatever. There's also like some really cute, like, you can barely see them, but like leaf patterns on these tiles, which I probably do like hint at a little bit, because they are quite sweet. But it's like a repeated pattern. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of getting the hint that it is a pattern, I hope, of a tile. Yeah, looking kind of cute. Ooh, that looks quite cute actually. So let's see if I can do it again and again and again. Yeah, look, it kind of looks cute, right? It doesn't look terrible. Oh, unless you do it completely wrong. I kind of like that. There we go, I said it. I kind of like that pattern. I think I'm kind of done with this painting a little bit. Um, that hand still bothers me though. I said I wanted to work with um, light a little bit more when I first started this piece and I feel like I have done that but I don't know if I've successfully like discovered how to do. Does that hand look worse now? I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, good times. I'm not sure if I've successfully hinted that this is for a window. Um, there is some highlights on the window that would help me indicate that this is through a window so I'm thinking maybe we should try that maybe we should paint over the top and I'm not sure how well it's gonna work out but you don't know unless you try we're gonna try it okay everyone just breathe for me I don't know why I just, I went for it. I always do that, I just go. The problem is that this gouache seems to reactivate quite easily, so I just wanna hint where there's like light on the window and 
shapes. There's also like writing across his face, but I feel like I'm not brave enough for that step just yet. But yeah, there's like specks of light. I hope that this is conveying that. Because if it isn't, it just looks like random shapes, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like it kind of worked, right? Am I crazy? Does that look a little bit okay? I like it. It's wonky, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's me and I think it, it conveys that. <laughs> it conveys that it's me. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm always like, I could do a little bit more, um, but I have to get this video up for you guys. And um, so what do you think? This is the final painting. And let's take the tape off. I do like the paints. I'm always, I, I have a love affair with gouache. I feel like it always works out for me somehow. Um, I do really like this painting. I'm really glad that I pushed myself to try something different and try the lights. Um, try to draw, paint something with dynamic light in it, I guess. And yeah, what do you guys think, basically? Uh, the paint brushes turned out not to be awful, as I thought. So there you go, that's something. And yeah, really enjoyed this painting. And I hope that you guys liked this painting and this process. But here he is, the grumpy old man in the window. And I kind of like it. I kind of like the wonkiness. I kind of like that it's not perfect, that's me. I'll never be perfect. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this um, video. It would super help my channel. And uh, subscribe if you're not, because that would be nice as well. All right, thank you. Bye!